Alright, I'm going to try to record a game here. <clears throat> um, not a clue what I want to play with. I have a few decks already made. I may try one I haven't used yet. Um, Night's Watch. Do I want to play with the Night's Watch? Uh, I'm going to still try this one. I'm going to try this one. <clears throat> I do have a few games in it with it already. I, uh, I really like Martell in 1st edition. Still not completely sold on it in 2nd edition, but everything is so new now. Um, I just like figuring out how many new people we have online. So I know it's a decent amount. Alright, so we'd have one gold, three gold, four gold, four gold. <clears throat> it's not terrible, it's only two characters though. Do this and this four seven. You know, it's not terrible. It's not great. I don't know. I'm gonna be greedy. It's not exactly worse. So three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, three. I don't know. I don't really want to play both castings. Not against Targaryen, or Greyjoy. Alright. <clears throat> I'm playing Sunspear for sure, so that's two, three, four, five, six, nine. So I've not played one of these guys. The question is, do I play dupe? I say, might as well. I just like getting more cards, especially with Martel, because it's the, arguably the worst draw in the game. So, <clears throat> all right. So, an interesting hand. Got some cheap characters, which is nice. I have kind of a dead card, and I have a card that's only good if I'm second player, and only can play one a turn, so that's a little interesting. Um, this guy's a lord, right? I don't think I'm playing a noble cause anyways. I don't even remember what my plot decks are. Alright, what do we have here? Alright. <clears throat> I guess I don't care about heads on a spike. Could do it to him. High Garden's annoying. I have, I have pretty sure no location control. Eh, not the end of the world. You still have to pay gold, and I think I do go with heads on a spike. Cause I don't need a lot of gold either, so I don't need this one. Okay, so maybe I'll get his character. I'll make him first player so I can play my Unbought and Bent and Broken. Bam. I hate this plot. It's the dumbest plot, in my opinion. It's not too powerful. It's really not, because sometimes you just get this guy. But <clears throat> it's just so swingy. I'm I'm really not a fan of it. But it's in the game, and we're gonna deal with it. All right, looks like I'm still recording, so sounds good. Uh, only one limited card. So that's good in a way. Still none of my big characters, which is interesting to say the least. This guy is not amazing in the second player, but it's not terrible either. <clears throat> if he does an entry first, I could stop his... Oh, well, that's pretty good. Fine, 
got six gold plus two. Okay. No, three. Okay. <clears throat> I thought this was reduced by three for a second. <clears throat> so it's late here, so I don't have the clearest voice right now, but. And he saved three gold, so that could mean literally anything. Jeez Louise. Alright, so. Four gold. Hmm. I want to play my one limited card. Think go like this. Um. The question is, do I have enough to pay for Edric and still? Hmm. This is the problem. I want to be able to play Edric, but also use his gold. But then I'm also not getting another character into play. So I think this turn, what we're going to do is we're going to just get Edric into play and play one of these guys. <clears throat> I have a feeling he has like a, I don't know, put to the sword or put to the torch or whatever. I don't know why this doesn't work ever. I want more characters and don't want to waste this. I could always bounce this guy if I want to. I may not right away, I'm not sure. Four, one, two, okay. Yeah. Wait. You pay for him. Oh, I said this, okay. Intrigue of two. I'll just let it go unopposed. What does he tears? You could tears Edric. Be a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Stop him from doing a military challenge this turn. And I get rid of a pair more. So, yep, I assume that was going to come. Sure. Because he had three gold. The question is, what do I not want him to get? If he gets a character, he could get. Which one's his main one, Terra? He could get Queen of Thorns. could get. Oh, and he also has a gold up for High Garden. Yeah. I did not see that. <laughs> My bad. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want him to have. Alright, what other events are there? Bear in the Main's Fair. The Plus a Billion Strength guy. I think I just don't want him to have characters. Cook is around. I probably should have actually said, said location. Because if he goes and gets the Mander here, that's a. Uh, yeah, I hope that's not what he gets. Because draw is really big in this game. And that's. That and the Red Keep are probably the best two draw cards. already looking like I'm going to have to play my counting coppers. That's not exactly when I want to be doing it. Hmm. Okay, I'm okay with that actually. If he's going to waste the tears on Edric, that's fine. It's not really a waste, but it's it's a two gold character for his one gold. Oh, he's not going to use it. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was going to do this, it wasn't just because he passed. 
I wasn't going to use Gaston. Alright, so he's going to bounce Heron Guard. Um, two to three. So I can't win it with this guy. Um, if I do, eh, whatever, we'll force it. <clears throat> it wastes a gold and now win Dom, I guess. It's not eventful, but. Yep. <clears throat> you do have to kneel it though, right? Okay, that's good. Alright. And. I think we. I went down, right? Five. Six. Yep. I mean, even if I play Count Coppers, I still virtually have one, two, five more gold, so it's not bad. So I'll probably play Counting Coppers this turn. I really wanted to get a two claim entry in, but it's whatever. Oh, is March good here? Hmm. I used. To, I think I'm going to take this out. This actually seems to not be hitting nearly as much as I thought it would be doing. Um, I mean, we trade. He's going to just play more characters, but I don't think I want to do it quite yet. So, we'll do Cunning Coppers. I want cards. Out of all the plots, I think this is the one you have to include at least one right now. There's just... You get into top deck mode way too early. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so he gets to pick first player. I assume he's going to pick me just because of Sunspear. So, but this girl is pretty good, so it does give a little bit of a dilemma. Okay. I'll trigger his plot. doesn't change anything. I'm just drawing cards, but just curious. Okay. So... And then, so this is really good, this is really good, this is really good. This, with this is not very good though, so. Alright, so I got one, two gold. I also want to save at least one of this for Edric. Military Stealthing Pass, Knight of Flowers, does seem pretty good. Um... And I don't know if I need this yet, so I'm not going to play my limited card yet. I reduce by one, two, five, so I could play her for free. And I could play this and this and leave up a gold. Or I could just play a rosewood. Not have a character. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we're going to play our um, Ariane. So play him for free. If I save up two gold though, it also lets me, if I do a military and he bounce him, not bounce him, stand him, that I could then give him another icon later. Um, I'm not going to use Dorn's game yet. I think I may just play this and save up two gold. <coughs> It's tough. I'm really not pushing anything right now. Uh, may throw this guy in after he does a challenge. There's a lot of interesting things I can do here. Um, this is probably my favorite. Well, it's by far my favorite Martell card. I don't know if it's my favorite card in the core set. I think I'm just going to play this. I'm going to play the more conservative. I'm not in a rush of throwing out more characters. I mean, I have Claim Soak already, so holy buckets, he has a lot of gold. <clears throat> I have no way to cancel it. So. I 
interesting. Huh. I've actually never seen this guy in a deck before. And he's saving four gold. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So I can kneel down Marjorie. I think doing that right away seems like the best way to go. Um... Okay, do reduce the claim. So my claim of intrigue literally means nothing. So I could just so I might as well just do this to nail his guy down. <laughs> so you can use hair in a high garden. No. Alright. Um all right, we're gonna well, does this actually do me anything? This guy getting into play is actually kind of annoying. Um, if I do a power with her, do a power with both of them, sure. Because I'm planning on bouncing her back to my hand, anyways. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Seven. That's fine. <clears throat> I do think um, Martell is really good in like melee. I've never tried it, but like, cause none of the things being say like second player or not, it just as a defender, not the first player. Stuff like that gets really good when there's multiple people. Alright, so here he's going to use Heron Hall, or psh, he keeps saying Heron Hall. How are you guarding? So now what I'm hoping is what? What's going to happen is <clears throat> I bounce him, put him into play, defend his entry challenge. Oh, ambush? Ah. Nice. So this is at least only works on attacker. I haven't seen any of those cards yet, so I'm okay with this. I mean, this basically you used two gold for this to be his military claim, and I didn't get it on a post power, so it's it's fine. I guess if he does a pot, no, he'll do an entry here, so question is, do I want to lose and risk giving up? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Alright, well, don't. Oh, I guess I put the character into play first. There's no unique character, so I can't do anything about it. A block. The thing is, like, put to the sword. He's got to have something like that. Or put to the torch, or one of those things. So I'm going to take away his military icon, he can get his power for, um, I don't think I'm going to use Gas and Gray here, because then his wildfire seems pretty good. Alright, just not Arion. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so he'll do his power challenge. Uh, his one goal to my two is going to beat it. 
Woo! I'm gonna trigger this. And oppose. Alright, so power. He gets down, that's a little annoying. I'm not gonna. Uh, no. Alright, yeah, that's why I'm not gonna bounce it, because it's a wildfire. I mean, I would keep these three. Yeah. Yep, his dumb. How much does the ambush cost? Four. Like when I when um one of the interactions with this that I like is these two, and so paying the ambush doesn't happen too often. So he still may play wildfire here. Still has no attachments. If I play march, I'm not even sure if that's better for me right now. Um, I could do this and name power. Is my intrigue better than his? Not, not really. Not yet, at least. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to use like a two claim plot in this deck, but right now there's not any good ones. I'm gonna just do this. What am I gonna pick yet? Not a clue. Honestly, I can see a valid point for all three options right now. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, so he gets to pick first player. See what he kneels before I figure out what plot I'm with. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Um, <clears throat> I think I want to do no. <sighs> do I really care if he wins the military? The only thing I care about is like, um, like his events to go with it. I think I'm just going to say Intrigue. It's the safest option, so that's just kind of why I'm going with it. Ooh, Doran. Good old Doran. Hmm. Alright, so I have six gold. Six gold. Five, six. Alright. So this is interesting. So Edric, good old Edric here, would become a three strength guy. Pretty cool. Um, the insight is also very relevant. I think I'm gonna play him literally just because the insight. <clears throat> well, how many cards does he have? He still has seven. Jeez. We actually both have a lot more cards in our hand than most games. I think it's kind of because we're stalling on the intrigue. And neither one is trying to put too much pressure on the board, or can't, I guess. I've been spending all my gold. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus, please, come on. Come on, Kamita. Let's be plus for some reason. Alright, so, one, two, three, four. Sorry, it's six gold, minus two, four. Okay, yep. <clears throat> So play Doran, or yeah, um, I think I play this and this. I have no military cons besides Edric. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm saving up a gold for Edric. Damn, I'm not going to play that for just two. Uh, I love this art, though. That's so cool. This, I think, is the silliest art. <laughs> Alright, so he's getting a lot of economy. I've killed his biggest threat, so that's good, at least. So he really didn't like me kneeling down his Marjorie. So he's three strength. He's got two big defenders, though. I'm going to have to uh, 
do the good old let me win a challenge or take an icon away shenanigans. Um, does get it to the end of the phase. Oh my, what in the world is this guy doing? I'm so confused. He must be, he's going to wildfire. <clears throat> okay. So, I think we're going to go with the, are you going to let me win a power challenge method here? If this week gets an unopposed power, I get an unopposed power. So this is by far one of my like based on the masses or whatnot. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, that was dumb on my part. Um, all right, so he has five. He has the plus two strength event, so that's plus eight strength. Jeez Louise, no, that's not right. It's plus four. It's plus two each. So that's four, five, six, nine strength. Four. Jeez, that's a lot of strength I gotta commit. Um. Darn it. That actually really stinks. Cause now do it. I don't. I'm not gonna just send him in. Um. I could stealth pass this guy. Make Marjorie defend. I'd at least get my intrigue. Doesn't seem terrible. I'm not gonna win the military strength anyway, as it appears. So sure, let's do that. So we're at four, five, six, seven strength. I'm really gonna have to start putting on some military pressure. I feel like that's obviously what this deck is lacking. Um, until I get a red viper out there. I believe I'm only playing two red vipers. After this game, I'll show my deck this just because it's always interesting I'm not even positive this was actually like my first deck I made that's nice right, speak of the devil I'm kind of iffy on if I should have duped this I did get another card out of it but Arguably the best card Martel has. So, kind of wasting an action or a chance to use it. Hmm. I don't know. It's a debatable thing. I'm just so used to uh, 1.0 where you you just want to flood as many cards as you can, just because getting those extra cards can be so valuable. I really wish they would just uh, reuse some art. Like the Magali art was so good and. Huh. Well, I feel power. That's so weird. Um, as far as I know, there's no shenanigans by winning. Oh, and I gave Edric an entry challenge icon, so that's cool. So, because uh, I know he has uh, tears, he must be trying to trigger uh, that one card. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I'm just trying to shut down his put to the sword. When you have four gold, you just have to respect it. Killing Doran right now, I just don't want to deal with that. Doran's giving me card draw. And it's going to give me a possibility to win the game in the future. So, I 
I don't know if I did finish my sentence. It's late, but... <laughs> I don't know, I, if he asked for it, I'd probably let him take it back. I mean, we're not playing for anything, so... Um, this was on this, so it's just a matter of, do I care about giving him a power? What, he already did the power challenge. He has 8 strength. To my, yeah, he's got, well, we'll defend it. No reason not to, really, I suppose. He's really getting a lot of down power, though. He's going to win just by that. The Maester guy is doing some work, though, so that's good. feel like he's going to play Wildfire right now, so what is my answer to Wildfire? Are my two characters better than his two characters? No, I want three characters. So I'm not going to play March... Um, I could play Game of Thrones, but then if I don't win the Intrigue Challenge, well, my time up, I have definitely the higher Intrigue Strength, so we'll do that. That seems like a reasonable choice. Yep, so we played Wildfire, played Game of Thrones. He's going to make me play first player again. Ugh, I may need to relook at these plots. I feel like I need to go f have higher initiative. I mean, it's fine being first player, but there are times I want to go second, so. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, we got big guys. I'm going to keep Thorn for sure. Uh, Maester and Edric, I think. I think this is pretty safe to say. We're gonna keep the Paramour. Mmm, <laughs> I think I keep the Paramour. No, yeah, let's just do this. I have at least one more Paramour. I'm not sure if I'm running two more. <laughs> Paramour was pretty good, though. So I could play the Viper on this turn. Two, three, four, five gold. Play this out. So one, two, three, seven. I could play the viper. Hmm. It doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, let's get him out there. Whoops. One, two, three, four, seven. Viper. Claim soak. Am I still recording? Looks like it. Alright. Again. Alright. I think next turn, if I have it still in my hand, we're playing Dorn's game. <laughs> I have to do an intrigue challenge first. Oh, and it can bounce. Ah, uh, shoot. Alright, this guy. Alright. This is going to be annoying. <sighs> Alright, as long as this is all the cards he's kind of playing, I'm fine. The Tinkler! I swear to God, if he hits the Viper, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Edric's useless this turn. He has three, four, five, six, seven intrigue. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's interesting. Very interesting, actually. I should have kept the gold. Hmm. I guess there's no way to do it. If I wanted the Viper in play. So if I send everyone... Four... Three, five, six, seven. So if I send both of those guys he'd have to two, four, seven, four. Oh no, I could just defend with those two. Hmm. And, uh, ah, lots of thinking, lots of thinking. <clears throat> hmm. I send all of them, I'll for sure win it. I'll get a card draw. I feel like I'm so far behind in this game. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Especially if we would have got a Randall out. <clears throat> Could also just do no challenges. And, uh, go into the next turn like this, which I feel like I'd be sitting in a much better position. Thinking of this as like a straight up just stall the turn doesn't seem terrible. I'm just going to pass. Because he was just going to bounce the Viper. And he was going to be able to do all his challenges because of this. Mm, he hasn't used the plot twice yet. I'm guessing this one, if he is running the same, I'm not running any of the same. So, I don't think, like... You shouldn't feel like you have to run two of the same plots. A lot of times just having more options is better. Gosh, he's already at 7 power. Ooh. What am I going to play next turn? No, I'm not going to play. Um... Can march? What are we marching? They're both march reducers. <laughs> that seems unproductive. Okay, so I don't even know. Eleven. Oh Jesus. I'm ninety percent sure. Alright, so got a power. Come on, not Viper. No! <laughs> oh gosh. That's funny. Dang it. Well, now I'm definitely not playing March. If he has March, I'm in trouble. Alright, so I may just play this just for the heck of it. Well, mm, do I want for? I lose this guy. He loses three characters. I mean, I'm going to have to sooner or later, so sure. Gosh, with Eye Garden? That's annoying. Alright, I'll let him be first this time. I think I keep Edric. I don't know. 
He's now a 1, 2, 3, 4 strength. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. Ugh. This is actually really tough. So Dane is now a f one, two, three, four. Oh, he's actually a five strength. That's actually right where we need him to be. Um, shoot, this guy just does so much work. Shit. All right, sorry. This is just this is really tough, actually. Um. There's valid points for all of them. This turn, I feel like this guy is going to be better. But. Whatever. We're going to kill this guy. Yeah. Thank. Oh! Next card! Oh! Oh my gosh, that would so dumb if you had gotten the Viper uh, with the Tinkler. Oh my goodness, that would have been so dumb. I don't know why they have such random cards in the core set. <clears throat> oh, good thing I'm playing, I think, literally. Oh no, of course I'm playing Milk. Every deck is playing Milk. Five gold. Hmm, that could be interesting. Um, I want to save up at least a gold for Edric, anyways. So. I'll just throw this guy out, I guess. <clears throat> like, somehow pull off a Doran's game. Well, where am I at now? One, two, three, four, five. So I have to do it next turn. Or else it goes to garbage. Well, okay, it's only four power. Hmm. And I'll be right in this game. Hmm. All right. This is called the Uh, I need official spoilers to make sure that this is what Doran's card actually says. Loading. Because this may be a free way to get some power. The Viper right now is 1, 2, 3, 4. He's an 11 strength. I don't think I can pass that up. Oh, come on. Load. Load. <clears throat> Sorry about this. It's just I don't want to play it and then him going. It only works as the attacker. So what's other lines though? It's only hmm. 
So if I use the Viper here, and then play this. Come on, one more page. We're so close. So close. If you win an entry challenge, I found it. Hmm. Sure, I think I go for it. Let's say he gives it plus two strengths, that's five to my seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so I'd still win. I'll defend. One, two, three, four power. All right. So if I top deck one next turn, we're golden. And I can get in with a crazy viper next turn. All right, we're actually sitting pretty decent. I don't think this is the best deck, but it is kind of fun because it's, it's just a different style of playing. <clears throat> and there's one gold. Oh, I could bump it up with this. So he probably has a put to this torch sword or some nonsense like that. Oh, strong as Edric. Five, I said. Hmm. So I could actually get through that. We'll let this go in pose. We'll let it go in pose. Not much I can do about it, so. I think we do it here. I mean, he's going to use High Guardian, but whatever. <laughs> oh, uh, I suppose clean. What the? Oh no. <laughs> Glitch! Alright. Okay, so we're at. Hmm. He's only four strength. Hmm. I defend here. I mean, hmm. I'm not gonna get one of these things through this guy, anyways. If I do the military, then I could stealth through him. So I feel like I just defend. Yeah, too much power, I kind of had to use it there, so. Whoops. Oh, 
Oh, that's my part. Okay. So obviously gonna bounce them, but that is what it is. Then we do an intrigue and hope to hit him. Yeah, garbage. <laughs> Wasn't a bad turn at all, though. I could have used this, but yeah, I don't know what it really provided for me at the time. So, right, I'm really hoping to draw. Another Dorn's game. That's what I'm looking for here. So the question is, do I march? No. I think I just play this. <laughs> Tie initiative. Well, I guess I was march though, but not a filthy accusation. Oh, a double march would have been interesting. If he lets me go first. I may go crazy. Alright, well this one's easy choice, so. Alright, boom, boom. Exactly not what I wanted to draw. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So, I have five gold. Play you for free. Play you and then play. Shoot. That only gives me one gold. Alright, well, we're doing it. <clears throat> he has eight gold, so if he plays the flowers guy. Jesus. Oh my gosh, he has all the gold in the world. Four, five, six. He only has, oh, see, he only has six, but that's he has eight power. Oh, jeez. Okay. So if we play as the flower without using this, he still has a gold for this, so. I want to run two Dorn's game because you don't want an early game, but I kind of want to run three just so that I have it for sure in the late game. <laughs> it's kind of a weird card like that, but it's very powerful. Minus two. So, okay, so this is the flowers. Oh, Tyrion. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so interesting. One, two, three, four, five. They're all plus five strength. Holy buckets. So she's nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, wow. I'm going to try to go for the double intrigue this turn. I may lose her to entry claim, but that's not a big deal when I'm running three of her, so I'm pretty sure I am. Maybe only two, but... Yep, you got oodles of gold.
If he bounces him, it's going to get interesting. I must have thought she was just 4 strength. <laughs> Alright, good card. Alright, so the Viper is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See, here's the thing. I'm, I'm trying to force out High Garden. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. I want to do an intrigue again. So I do a power with the Viper. How scary is that? Not that's not scary enough. So I do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 power. Pretty scary. I'm really opening high gardens here. Oh, shoot, shoot. Forgot he had stealth, and so that's still seven strength. So maybe I do a power with him. Seven. Well, he's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's six strength. Please. Um. So yeah, he's actually better. This is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Alright, well, I'm really not trying to play this long, but it's a close game. Um, I could try to do a power by himself, but if that doesn't work, then mission failed. Um, okay, so he has five... Six, seven, ten. There's my seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, thirteen. Let's just do a power like this. I know it's opening high gardens. I mean, that's. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm not really trying to win this power challenge. So he's defending with seven. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen versus seven. So I only get one power. Alright, seven. So, wait, that can't be right. Okay, so yeah, he canceled this out, so it's one, two. Okay, yeah, alright. So I have a military left, huh? Well, might as well use it.
for one, two, three, four, five, six train. So now I'm really hoping it doesn't do an intrigue. Oh, okay. I guess he's still gonna get all his challenges in. Can he get one to put to the sword? No. No, no, no. Intrigue, huh? Hmm. So four, seven. Hmm. Sure. Unopposed. Come on, I'm bowed. All right, good. That's good. That's big. Wait, what the? Ah. Ah. <coughs> Not sure why. Mm. Ah, shoot. All right, now I could do put to the sword. Okay. No, it's not worth it's not worth wasting here. Uh what? Um Um he has an intrigue icon. You could kill Edric. There's probably a better way to bait this, but... He was going to become pretty crappy here shortly, so... My march is going to be decent, though, this turn. <coughs> and if he does a military challenge, so... I don't oppose. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Let's see, at nine... All right, two cards. Okay, I'm really open. His last one's not counting coppers. So I'm at four, uh, five to three, four, five. Tie. Okay, that's good. Tie is good. Uh, Edric's bye bye. <laughs> now he's got filthy back, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't even know who I want to go first, honestly. You first player, I guess. No, uh, that was probably a mistake. It's hard to say. Oh, snakeish. This is pretty shitty. <laughs> this is a horrible draw! <laughs> not looking good. Unless he drew stuff like that. I can live with that. More dupes. 
Do I know any of his cards? No, because he played his tears. Four cards. I don't like seeing that. It's better than anything I'm going to play here. Eh, just barely. <laughs> I have no military claim, though. Okay, so I'm going to play the Ar Ariane dupe. Just so that if he plays, uh... Um... Just so that if he, Just so I have a military claim. Needed to know that. Alright. Ugh, really wish I could have won last turn. I would have if I. There's probably a better line that I just didn't see debating out the Heron Hall on the Viper. I just don't want to commit too much because I wanted to go for the win, but. This was a good game, and this guy didn't. As far as I could tell, it hasn't done anything bad. I feel like. He should have won though, because I got rid of the Randall. That would have been really hard to deal with. Uh, I think I'm letting this one go on a pose. How much power does he have? Nine? On a pose. Ah, uh, if he has a put to the sword, I'm probably just dead. Eh, on a pose. If he has it, he has it. Oops, that's a discard pile. Alright, well, I took the power. Woo! Yeah, with a minute two gold, I was a little nervous. Mm. I think we're just let, we're letting stuff go into pose. Just because I need my guys. I just do a crazy intrigue challenge, honestly. Uh. Oh, Lana's cunning? Sure. Hmm. What's the best character he can get? Eh, there's a lot of characters. I don't want a character. Um. So we get some manly. Still spending three gold on that. Kind of a fence other. A milk would be bad. Milk could be really bad. Still think I should name character. Um Character. It's just it's the safest option. Uh I'm uh, I I think a milk is gonna be very likely. Thing to get. Oh shoot. Oh, you could get a bear in the bear in the main fade. Which would be pretty bad with what my cards are in my hand. Um also he's gonna do an entry challenge. So well maybe not, because I could just defend with Dorn, so Should I get a milk? I feel like that's what you should get. I also have a very good chance at just discarding whatever the heck he gets, so that's something too. I could do double power challenge too, so 11, 12. Just get like one or two power on the Viper. Could be. It's gonna be a close game. And this is one of the better deck types. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. If he is playing. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting about Pillage. I mean, he's not targeting to, and I don't think it's really relevant. And I have only 29 cards, though. Hmm. I've seen a lot more cards than him. Interesting. Okay. So, I wonder if he's not playing Milk of the Poppy. So that seems like an interesting card to get. Unless he knows I could just discard it so he's not really caring about it. So, my challenges, huh? So I think we go power with both of these. He bounces this guy. 
Alright, so let's go. Let's go power. Eleven. Two, right? No. Oh shoot, I did that wrong. No, I only get one power. I'm not doing math at all, right? Alright, so here's the thing. Can I win the game here? Alright, so I gotta do math here. So I'm at 12 power. 13, 14. I win the game. Pretty sure I got this. So a lot of interesting things actually this game. It was I like this game. That was pretty good. Intense. Real, real close. Alright, well, you saw what was in my deck, so I can show you the rest of my deck. So, one Hoda. Was only two tiers? So, the, so two Dorns games. One, two, three milk. None of the flowers. I never drew either of these guys either. I did have a good storm. I mean, it's not the perfect deck. We're still tweaking. We're still figuring things out. Like, I could easily run another Randall and another Knight. Does it, look, it looks like I'm only running one Marjorie. That seems weird. But, this guy, this girl's an MVP. Like, with Ariane, they're really good. Yeah, that Doran's game was the momentum swing. Because um, he kind of just wanted to kneel one of my guys down, but when I got to kneel one of my guys down and gain four power, it's a pretty big deal. So. Alright, well. Hope you guys enjoy this game. I'll be putting up more. Uh, my name is Brandon Zimmer. Uh, MM Broncos and all the forums, and uh, look forward to seeing more of these games. Sorry this went a little long, uh, but hopefully that's a good thing, because there was interesting things going on in this game. Alright, bye.